All right, I guess that's good lighting right now. Anyways, guys, um, I'm FHRC Brony, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Hot Wheels collection. Call this Forza Horizon 3 related because um, Forza Horizon 3 does have a Hot Wheels expansion pack. And since I don't have $35 to spend on it, I decided, uh, you know what, I'll just figure to just show you guys my Hot Wheels collection while I, <laughs> until I get my Hot Wheels expansion pack soon. Anyways, um, uh, this right here is my Hot Wheels collection. And um, let's be honest, I haven't done any uh, Hot Wheels collecting ever since, I don't know, 2009. That's where I stopped collecting Hot Wheels. So uh, everything that you're going to be seeing here is pretty much what I have. So um, let's get started. Um, we're going to start off from the front row and work our way to the back. So starting over here, we got a a flight 2003, and um, this car kind of looks like a riced out car. Um, it's one of those little hot hatches. I don't know what kind of model car this is. Um, like if this is supposed to portray a real car, but it looks like one of those riced out hatchbacks. But when I first got this car, it, it I didn't I had no knowledge on ricers and stuff like that. I just thought they were cool. Over here, oops. Uh, over here, we have a 1998 Honda Civic in yellow, I guess. And over here, I know it's kind of dark and green to see because this car is is dark. But this is a Lotus Elise. This one over here is a Chevrolet Silverado. Like I said, it's too dark uh, and the light is not really picking it up well. But this is a Chevrolet Silverado with... Uh, with a fake motorcycle in the back bed. And then this one was given by my cousin. It's actually one, looks like one of these uh, drag cars. And I don't know the model on this one, but uh, it's, oh, it's a 1941 Willys. Looks pretty cool. Looks like it has the one with the wheelie bar in it. And, and actually, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, then. So it's one of these old. Oh, muscle drag cars and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. This one over here I actually got at McDonald's when uh, they used to sell these Hot Wheels cars in McDonald's. And this thing is really low slung. I don't know what the model car of this one is, but it's, it does say it's actually made in 2000. It says 2000, I believe 2008 or 2009. Made for McDonald's. So kind of actually, oops, I dropped it. It kind of resembles uh, the front. It kind of almost resembles like one of those uh, Gallard, Lamborghini Gallardos. But uh, you can easily tell it's not a Lambo. Okay. So let's move these cars aside. And let's move on to the second row. And this is actually one of my personal favorites. This is a... 1980s Corvette which is comes from their fourth generation and as you saw earlier the hood actually opens and also it also has their own independent suspension not really independent it's actually like a uh, solid axle but um kind of a little flimsy in a kind of way I guess kind of a uh, bouncy but uh yeah, there it is. It's the Corvette C C4. That's they called the generation. This is the car that came uh, before the C5 and the car that came after the C3. And this, in fact, this is the first car I believe. No, this is the second Corvette to be ever called the ZR1. The C3 was the first car to be called the ZR1, and then the C6 was the next ZR1. Then. What we know, and then there's the, another Corvette with the C7, is now also called the ZR1 as well. Uh, what car is this one? Um, 
This is a Fandango. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those rape van things. And, um, I don't want to sound, sound very disgusting here, but, uh, a rape van is actually described as a, a van who, with no back windows, no side windows and stuff like that. And it's mainly used for, from people who abduct kids or whatever. So that's what the definition of a rape van is, or according to the Urban Dictionary. And over here, we got another hot hatch. And this one is a Subaru Impreza STI. Um, I think this car is in Forza Horizon 3. I actually haven't gotten to the Subaru section yet. But I do know for a fact that this car is in Forza Motorsport 4. And in Forza Horizon 1, this is actually... Um, used as a sedan instead of a hatchback. Over here, these two cars right here are both Nissan R34 GTRs. Or for you guys over there in, in England, you guys say it as Nissan. But I, I think that's kind of a kind of a unusual way to pronounce it, but uh, that's the way it goes. But Anyways, these are these two cars are both Nissan GTR R34s, and my dad actually gave these to me because uh, he doesn't really collect Hot Wheels. He knows that I'm a Hot Wheels collector, and uh, he knows when when he when he got these cars, he was a he was a huge JDM fan. He before he started loving muscle cars like the Hellcat. So, um, anyways, moving on. I don't know what this car is. It's it's a super, uh, oh, super Blitzen. Yeah, some of these fictional cars you don't even see in the real world. Um, I mean, there's no such thing as a bone shaker in real life, but Forza Horizon 3, they have that car. And also, moving on, this is a Ford GT. And this is the, the Le Mans version of the Ford GT, so this one's a race edition. And I've always loved these because of the wing and the aerodynamic look of it. I like these cars. And um, I could replicate some of these cars into Forza Horizon 3 and stuff like that. Because I have a friend on Xbox Live who's also a fellow YouTuber who actually does some of these things too. Replicating Hot Wheels cars. So over here we got a, uh, what was this one, Power Rage. And as you can see this car is also, uh, ha it has black in it. But originally the original color on this car is um, like this color, silver. The reason why it's it's black now, turning black, is because uh, this was included in a track set called Super Jump Raceway. And if you guys, uh, if you guys know what that is, then you probably know what I'm talking about. It's basically a set, a track set, with boosters in it, and the boosters are are made of rubber, and what that does, it actually rubs into the paint of this car, and it, and it scrapes off some of that paint out, so that's why it's becoming black instead of chrome anymore, or silver, if you guys want to say it. So yeah, this car was included in a track set that I used to have, which I don't have anymore, but um, there it is. And this one is an illegal car, um, currently being sold in the U.S. Well, not this toy car, but the the real car. Uh, it's currently illegal here in the United States, the real car. This is a Nissan uh, Silvia S15. I personally do love these cars. Uh, I mean, I'm not a really huge on JDM and um, imports or something like that, but... Uh, I've always do like the Nissan Silvias. And then this one over here, before, I, I, I wasn't really into supercars when I, when I got these, but um, this one right here is a Lamborghini Murcielago. And this one's actually kind of banged up. I, you cannot see it, but there are some paint uh, scraped off on, off this car. So that's it for these cars. And now finally for the final row, this one I actually got from Chuck E. Cheese as well as that uh, 
Or is it? Oh, dang it, where'd it go? Hmm, weird. But I had, it's the one with the, oh, here it is. This car right here, I got from Hot, I got from Chuck E. Cheese's. It was the same Chuck E. Cheese's where, uh, when I got, where I, where I got this one. So this one right here is a uh, La Fasta. The fast, I guess. Hmm. I mean, La Ferrari is, uh, it means the Ferrari in English. So, probably that's what this car means, the fast. Over here is, is a Shelby uh, GT500, I believe. It's basically a, uh, oh, it's, yeah, GT500. It's a, basically a 2007 Mustang. Nothing to write home about other than it kills crowds. <laughs> Sorry about the meme, but yeah. And this one over here, another unknown car, or well, basically, or basically another a another fictional car, I should say. This one is horseplay. I remember playing a game which had this car, where you go through a tunnel and then you can actually do corkscrews when you go through the walls. So, yeah. This one over here is a stock car, and it's the same thing as what you guys, what people use in NASCAR. It's, I believe this is a uh, Ford Taurus. Yep, it's a Ford Taurus. Well, who, who is this driven by, anyways? Eh, I don't know. But anyways, that, that's a stock car. Then over here is a... I, I believe this one is a tow truck. Oh, yes it is, it's a tow truck. It says Hot Wheels towing on the side. And then this one is a, uh, this one's made in 2012, and this is a Repo Duty. That's what it's called. It's not like some Ford F-350 tow truck kind of thing. It's just some fictional tow truck that they made. And looks pretty cool, but I don't think it's, it's totally awesome. But it's not ugly, I'll tell you that. This one, this thing is freaking slammed, I'll tell you that. This one is a La Troca, another, I believe, La, the truck. I mean, I don't speak a foreign language that well, but it kind of almost resembles one of those old-time Chevys or Fords kind of thing. Kind of resembles a Ford F100 on the back, but um, yeah. Then this car is actually in Forza Horizon 3. This one is a Jaguar or in England, Jaguar, but uh, this is a XJ220, um, if I do recall. I remember having a black version of this one, but, but I don't even know where that went, but here it is. And then this one over here is an old Ford. Um, what is this one? Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. Yeah, I believe this is like one of the early stages of the Ford of the of the 2005 Ford GT because this car was made in uh, it doesn't say the year. Sorry, my camera stopped right there, but uh, looks like this car came uh, like was like an early stage of the Ford GT that what came out in 2005 because I heard a Doug Jamiro video of the 2017 Ford GT. As when the 2005 Ford GT came into show, um, it was shown as a concept car in 2002. So I believe it's it was this kind of car that started it. Kind of does resemble it. And over here, another car in Forza Horizon 3, uh, Porsche 959. Yes, it's the same kind of car that you saw. At on that video of, of my me and my friends doing drag week. Uh, yeah. Two more cars left. This one is a Shelby Cobra in purple. It also has that pop up hood too. And it's that glorious V eight. Come on focus. There you go. And finally this car. This was oh this was on a drop tower uh, tracks that I used to have. This one is a Golden Arrow, made in two thousand and two. 
So there you guys have it. That's my Hot Wheels collection. And um, leave it in the comments section below. Do you guys want to see me collect more Hot Wheels toys or or just save my money and buy the Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels expansion pack? Leave it in the comments below.